hello friends welcome to c sharp intermediate to advanced tutorial now you are watching part 2 of the video so in this video we are going to uh, set the table layout panel inside the splitter control First, we will have a form, and if you see the form is not resizable, um, you can only close this uh, form. Inside the form, we will we will place a split container. So, if you see here, this is the form, and there will be a split container and split container will have two panel right panel one panel two so inside this panel two we will provide the control for reserving the bid and here in panel one we will place the table layout panel control so we know that a split container contains a two panel panel one and panel two and panel 1 and panel 2 are divided by the splitter and in panel 1 portion we will put our table layout panel container so that in this portion we will divide this into cells and then inside each cell at runtime we will place a checkbox also we have to provide a event handler and a hook when we are creating these checkboxes at runtime okay so that's how we will uh, uh, organize these uh, controls and if you see the outer one is the form the second one is the split container and uh, in the split containers panel one portion we will place our uh, table layout panel now it's a demo time let's go to the demo here we are using visual studio 2005 if you have latest IDE, you can use uh, that as well So here we are creating a new project, Windows application. So I'm giving the name as a table layout example, table layout panel example we can say. So first uh, let us set the size. So this is the size we are giving. Name, I mean text caption, we will give it as bid allotment. form name we are giving it as table layout so back color I am choosing it as a navy font we will change it as Verdana and since we set a dark back color for color I am changing it to white then here you see the form is resizable right if you see the form is resizable 
and we don't want to allow this so we are making it as let's try with fixed single so fixed single is still having all this control we will go with the fixed dialog let's run this once now it is not uh, resizable Okay, fixed tool window looks great. We'll go with this. Or you can even choose fixed dialog and then in the maximize box disable that, minimize box disable that. So now it will act like a dialog and user cannot resize it. Next, we will go to the toolbox. For now, let's uh, hide this property window. Then uh, drag and drop the split container here. The here. You can see um, this portion is the panel one and this one is panel two. If I change the background color, you can see it. You can see this is a panel one. Similarly, you can see panel two here. Now we need to change the orientation. So I just clicked in the middle to select the entire control. Then I'm changing it as a horizontal splitter. You can see this is panel one and this one is panel two. Next we have to place our table layout panel inside this panel one portion now using this arrow we can move it so now if you see we have form form contains a split container so we have the form frm table layout and this form contains a split container windows forms split container and in panel one portion we have a table layout panel so in the next video we will continue this design we will uh, talk about um, document uh, outline view and we will see how we can easily access these uh, controls using that view so just now you saw the demo and you saw we used a form then we placed a split container so then we changed the split containers orientation and in the top portion we placed our table layout panel so we will stop here demo you saw thank you for watching and in the next video we will continue this example